Hello and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Showdown team building video. Today this is the 60th team builder that we have ever done and we are here with possibly my favourite typing in the game. So far. So far anyway, my favourite typing in the game. Steel fighting, we are here with a Cabalion, we have a legendary leader of the Swords of Justice, we are ready to just win. Okay, this thing is ready to set up and win. Named Cobalt, kind of an unoriginal nickname I know, but... It fits, okay? It really does fit. I mean, it's it's practically its name anyway, so I have nothing against the name. The only ability it can run is Justified, meaning we are basically just working on what kind of moveset we want, and we have options there, because the stats are pretty good overall on Cabalion. We have a nice defense stat, so we can either play off of that if we want to, and maybe make it defensive. This thing gets access to Calm Mind, and its special attack and attack are the same, so you can run it specially, it doesn't matter and that will also boost its special defense, or you can make use of its base 108 speed stat and just make it a sweeper, which is what I think we're gonna do. So we're gonna run Swords Dance. Probably the most basic set, but probably the set that's gonna work the most, because UU is that kind of tier where everything is fast, basically. This is why I assume UU is, it's just everything is gonna outspeed me. All the stall goes to OU. So we're gonna run Iron Head, we're going to run Sacred Sword because it goes through stat changes, which is a massive, massive thing that's completely overlooked sometimes. Most people might grab, like, Close Combat because it's an extra 25% power. But actually, you know what? Well, 33% power. You know what I mean. Um, but Sacred Sword going through stat changes can completely stop something setting up, and I would like that. And for a final move, we're also going to run Stone Edge because, honestly, fire types are scary to this thing. Fire types are very scary. So, Stone Edge to deal with fire types, we also don't really have anything to hit our other weaknesses, which are ground and fighting. Fighting isn't normally too much of an issue, we'll pick up a core around that, but I was thinking for an item we could potentially give this thing an air balloon. Sounds really weird, we'll just have a little floating Cabalion with a little red balloon, but we could honestly give this thing an air balloon and just get rid of one of its weaknesses. And that could be really nice, because that will allow us to have basically one less immunity until we get hit. And that could be a huge thing, because Crocodile is in this tier, and Crocodile is scary. So I think we're going to run Air Balloon. Bit of a weird item. Standard set, weird item, we'll see how it goes. So, building a defensive core around this Pokemon will be, as I said before, fighting, fire, and ground. Meaning, we are basically looking for... Any, anything really, you know, there, there's a lot of things that resist those, so I am not too worried. We could grab a water type to get the fire resist. We could grab something with levitate so that we don't get hit by ground type moves. I like the idea of a water type Pokemon with levitate or something with levitate. That could be kind of nice. I mean, Flygon has levitate, doesn't get hit by ground, but running it defensively I mean, it resists everything, but it's not great defensively, so I'm going to ignore that. A Psychic type could be kind of nice with Levitate, so it resists the fighting. That sounds kind of nice. Cresselia, Uxi, either of those is nice. Cresselia is probably a little bit better, because it gets more reliable recovery. And I feel like its stats are just a little bit better, because it's so much bulkier in HP. So I think we'll take a Cresselia. I have not used Cresselia in a while. I'm pretty sure I called this thing Celestia before. Maybe? I think that was the name. I'm trying to remember. Christ, it's been a while. So we'll run Leftovers. Um, I guess the best thing to run on this would probably be a Calm Mindset. I don't really like making my core set up too much, but at the same time, I love making my core set up because it's fun. So we can run Moonlight for recovery, obviously. We could run Psychic for just straight up damage. We could run Moonblast. Do we need Moonblast and Psychic? Moonblast allows us to hit Dark types. Moonblast is needed. I like that. So Moonblast and maybe Calm Mind? I feel like that's really simple. I feel like we could also run like Toxic on this or something, or maybe Thunder Wave to slow them down. Feeling like maybe we don't need Psychic. I'm not entirely sure. Psychic is Stab though. I think we'll just run with this. I mean, if we can set up enough Calm Minds, Generally, there's not really a point in having Toxic up in that case, because we can just damage things instead. So, we'll we'll run a nice specially defensive set with Calm Mind. That can get very, very specially defensive. That is something to keep in mind. That is 
That is a potential sweeper right there. So, a physically defensive counterpart to a psychic type. Not too difficult to think of what would be the best thing here, because psychic is weak to dark and ghost prominently, and bug is like... Not many people run bug moves. Bug isn't too scary, so dark and ghost would be the scariest things, so a defensive dark type would be perfect. So Umbreon. That sounds like a stally pair. Umbreon and Cresselia. Whew, I do not like the sound of that. Um, we could also take Sableye. It's neutral to dark and ghost though. It would be really good. I never use Sableye. Thinking about it, I can't remember the last time I've used a Sableye. That makes me want to use it. Its stats are also really low, but it's still good. Like, its base stat total is pretty bad, but it's in UU for a reason, and that's Prankster will -Wisp. So, we could run that. Unless there's another Dark type. I mean, if Lipard got will -Wisp, maybe. Mm, probably not. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. We'll ignore that train of thought right now. Um, maybe Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz would be a nice pairing, actually. It comes down to, do I want to use Mandibuzz, or do I want to use Sableye? And I know I've used Mandibuzz before, so we're going to take the slightly less optimal pick, and we're going to grab ourselves a Sableye. And I only have a name for Mega Sableye. I call it Mega Sableye's Ruby, because of the giant Ruby it has. But I mean, it still has a small Ruby, right? That counts. Yeah, yeah You can still be called Ruby, that's fine. And I'm pretty sure you have the worst shiny of all time. Yeah, that's a horrible shiny. We are not even talking about that. So, Rocky Helmet is what I have in mind for a defensive Sableye. With Prankster, because that's the best thing it gets. We'll give it Will-O-Wisp. We will give it uh, Recover, definitely. That's what makes it annoying and stally and great. Now, we have options for these last moves. We can have uh, Nightshade. Nightshade could be good. We could have Foul Play. I think we're going to run. Maybe, although if we're burning... Well, we're coming on on physical attackers, so foul play will generally be good. So we will run foul play. I feel like that could be very, very useful. And for our final move, we can run something like taunt if we're afraid of setup. We could run something like knockoff if we're afraid of items. We, we could definitely run a lot of options here. Nightshade would be reliable damage, just a straight 100 damage, because this is Pokemon Showdown, not Battle Spot. Battle Spot, it'd be level 50. This goes straight to level 100, though. Uh, we could also run Shadow Claw if we just want damage, but I don't think that's what we want. We're making this thing have some options. I think Taunt. I think Taunt sounds like a nice idea. We could stop rocks being set up. That could be nice. Maybe we could burn whoever's going to serve rocks on their team. I'm gonna run Torn. I do not run uh, Sableye very often. I am just gonna say that now. So I might misplay with Sableye in the battles horribly. I'm gonna put that out there now. But you know what? We'll see how that goes. So, our defensive core, we have still got a little bit of a weakness to Dark and Ghost, but I mean, Cabalion does resist them. In fact, just Cabalion and Cresselia have a nice little thing going with their defensive typings. So I don't feel too worried. I feel like fairy types are a little bit scary, because they're obviously Sableye's only weakness. And I also feel like fire types are a little bit scary. So I would like something fairy and fire. Is there a way to get rid of both of those in one type? I don't think there is. I do not think there is. I mean, we can look through some water types and see if there's anything interesting. I mean, we could take something like a Tentacruel. We could definitely take something like a Tentacruel, or we could just go with Shell Smash Cloister and destroy everything. Just saying. <laughs> I... Great. Now I've half convinced myself to do that. Gyarados would also be something... Gyarados or Cloister? Which of these would I like to set up with? I would not mind running either of those as just a set up and demolish straight for a team kind of Pokemon. For Alligator? I'd rather have Gyarados than for Alligator, so no. Uh, Kingdra is weak to Fairy, nope. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm definitely convinced of one of those two. Either Cloyster or, or Gyarados. Which of those would I rather run right now? Honestly, I'm more convinced to run Cloyster, although it doesn't resist fire. 
That's that's something I should keep in mind. Cloister does not resist fire. But ice is such a powerful typing. Shell smash ice cool spear, can I really pass that up? I can't pass that up. I'm I'm going with it, and because I call my shiny uh, cloisters sapphire, and that way I can have Ruby as sapphire on my team, <laughs> my reasoning is perfect. <laughs> so we're gonna run uh, skill link. We're obviously gonna run a focus sash on this thing because its special defense is abysmally bad. Um, we are gonna run shell smash because honestly, it's just too powerful not to run. Ice school spear is nice and beautiful and great and fun and basically overpowered. Um, we will also run Rock Blast so we can hit fire types. And do we want Razor Shell or do we want Ice Shard? Do we want Priority or do we want Water Staff? Is, is that the best War type move it gets on the physical side? Dive? I mean, no. <laughs> do not run Dive. <laughs> just don't. Um, I think we'll run Razor Shell just for our Water Staff because this. This might work, I don't really know. So, I don't feel a need to change any of this. I think the Focus Sash should be fine. It has a nice defense stat, basically, but its HP and special defense is just so low. I don't understand why its special defense has to be this low. It could be such a good Pokemon if its special defense was like 20 points high. That'd be great, maybe even 15, just make it usable. So, Ruby and Sapphire are on the team. We still have that fire weakness, so I would like to deal with that. Although, I don't know if I'm really that worried about fire types. We have one weakness to it so far. That's actually not too much. We might be okay, as long as we don't pick up more weaknesses to it. Not a hundred percent, but there is Mega Camera up in this tier. And that would deal with fire types. That would also give us our Mega. Is there a reason why I wouldn't want to run Mega Camera? I'm looking for a reason not to run it, more than a reason to run it, I know, but... Is there anything that would make it worthwhile to run this? I am debating, I am unsure, I am scared. Ground types, am I that afraid of them? We have an air balloon on our only weakness to it, so I'm not too worried about ground types. And I'm pretty sure this is only weak to ground and water. And it would resist fire. And that sounds nice. So, yep, I'm convinced. Okay, let's try this. Uh, we'll have... Do we want solid rock, or do we want anger? Well, this thing isn't going to run physical. We'll keep we'll keep solid rock just in case we get hit by a I don't know a mud slap. Nice powerful mud slap comes our way before we mega evolve. Who knows? So earth power, flamethrower, definitely. Um, this thing does get stealth rock. We could have this as our rock star. It can get pretty defensive. That's some nice base defenses. I would not mind running stealth rock on this thing just in case. Something like Stealth Rock and maybe Ancient Power? Although we can't get the Ancient Power boost now that I think about it, because we go to Sheer Force when we evolve. Or Mega Evolve, not just Evolve. So, is it worth it? Do we want to run Physical? You know, I would run Earthquake, Stone Edge, but there is no good special- there's no good Physical move. I mean, do we want to run Flame Charge? No doesn't get like flare blitz or anything like that. It doesn't get any good physical fire moves. So instead we're gonna run ancient power and we're gonna rock with it. We are gonna rock with ancient power. Who knows? Maybe they will send in a weak and fragile little deli bird to get hit by four times super effective ancient power. Who knows when that'll be useful. Maybe they'll have a, basically if there's a fire and flying type, if there's a Charizard or a Talonflame, that can't be a Talonflame. Basically if there's a Charizard, it's gonna die. <laughs> that's that's all it comes down to. <laughs> and we're gonna name you Krakato because I am original. Original. And I you have a nice shiny, right? You're black shiny? Yeah, that's a nice shiny. We'll run that shiny. So, do we have anything else that we want to change? Looking at things. Nope, everything's looking good so far. So what are we missing? We have we have sweet potential. We have strong special attacker, we have strong physical attackers. Uh, we have some speed. I would like a Choice Scarf user, maybe? Maybe a Choice Scarf user? I'm not entirely sure. Wouldn't mind picking up a Grass-type. 
I, mm, maybe I would. Maybe I would mind. What is a scary type for us? The fact that I can't come up with one straight away is a good thing. So, actually, I'm not going to pry into that too much. I wouldn't mind picking up an electric type. I wish there was a good electric grass type. I mean, there's Rotom Mo, but Rotom Mo isn't great. Rotom Mo is, is meh overall. Um, what other Pokemon do we have? What other options do we have? Let's just look for Yu Yu rather than look through typings. Let's just have a look and see what could fit. Rather than think about anything in particular, look for a certain typing or anything, let's just look at what would fit. So, I mean, Galvantula Sticky Web Support is always nice. That would give us bug coverage. It would be another fire weakness, but it might not be too bad. I don't really know. I'm not convinced on that one. Uh, Heliolisk is UU. I thought that was far you. I don't know why. Okay, that just kind of surprised me for a second there. Uh, we could go with a Choice Scarf Mianxiao, but it's Fighting Type. We already have a Fighting Type. There's not really much need for that. Rotom Heat. Eh, no. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Rotom Heat. If Rotom Heat got Flamethrower, then sure, but it's not great. Sylveon. Choice Scarf Sylveon? Choice Scarf Sylveon. So Steel, is that scary to us? We have two resistances, being Cobalion and Krakatoa, and no weaknesses. Weaknesses to Poison, we have none, and we have three resistances. Sylveon seems like a nice pickup. Sylveon really seems like a nice pickup. I think we'll run Pixelate Sylveon. This is, this is not something I expected to use, to be honest. I, I was not in the right mindset to use this, but you know what? Completely forgot it was even in Yu Yu. So, Hyper Voice is a must. Pixelate is a must. Uh, I like to run Hidden Power Ground, to be honest, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I want to run this. I don't know if I want to make this a Scarf set, because its base speed is pretty bad. <laughs> Not gonna lie, even with max speed investment, if we go to maximum speed, okay, we make this thing go as fast as Sonic and uh, 240. So we're hitting 360 base speed. That barely outspeeds Cabalion. And that's Choice Scarf. Mmm. 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 That's... But it might pick up some kills because people might not expect it. That could be a thing. I'm kind of curious. This is just me testing something more than anything. Mega Absol. What does your speed go to? Because you are faster than Cabalion. What is your speed at? 361. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so close. So close. Ah, Sylveon. If only you were just a tiny bit faster. Why can't you have 65 base speed? Why can't you have 60 attack, 65 speed? That would be perfect for me right now. Ah, that'd be, that'd be the ideal scenario. But I think we will make this thing Choice Scarf anyway. Who knows, it might work perfectly. It, we might get some crazy kills and knockouts that we just weren't expecting to get. I'm gonna give this thing Hyper Voice. Gonna make sure it also has Hidden Power Ground, because honestly, it just, it covers its weaknesses so well that it's just, um, it's a must in my opinion. It is really a must. Now, for our other moves, we have options. We can run Shadow Ball. Doesn't do too much for us. We can run Psy Shock. Again, doesn't do too much for us. What does Psy Shock hit? Hyper Voice doesn't. Poison types, I guess. But we've hidden Power Ground for that, so we don't need to worry too much. Uh, whatever. Crazy. Do you get anything crazy? Do you have anything that could just be really fun? Draining Kiss? Choice Scarf? Draining Kiss? Tempting. Very tempting. Mud Slap? Tempting. Very tempting. Uh, what about... Ooh, Stored Power. Ooh, do you get, like, Calm Mind? You do get Calm Mind. Calm Mind, Stored Power? Tempting, but no. Uh, I think we run the Psy Shock for Poison types that might want to come in. And I guess that means we're left with Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball hits Ghost types, not a lot else. Shadow Ball is not a very, Ghost just isn't a nice offensive typing. It's just, it's it's in that niche. So I think we're gonna run Hyper Beam. 
<laughs> We're just gonna go full. Let's let's just rock with Hyper Beam. Let's just see how that goes. 110 special attack stat. It might be great. Who knows? Uh, we are we are lowering some IVs in places. Are they okay? Am I okay with this? Do I do I want this extra one in special attack? Uh, I mean, I want him power ground, so it's not like a good choice. And we're gonna call you Valerie because Valerie is still my favorite name, Sylveon. I feel like I've spelled that wrong somehow, but I haven't. Have I? I'm pretty sure I haven't. <laughs> but then again, I don't know. And we're also gonna run you shiny because I never run the blue version. I always run the pink version. So we're running, we are running three shinies, and two legendaries and a mega. Oh my god. The scariness of this team. But I think that is going to wrap up this team building, provided that the validation is all okay, which it is. So this team is valid for you. I think that's going to be the team builder. If there's any changes to this team, it will be uh, in the showdown battles tomorrow. I think I'm going to keep it as it is, though it does look quite nice. So if you guys have enjoyed this team building session, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!